Hi, this is Jack Wood with the Ego 11. I'm just going to go through one of the main new internal features of the Ego 11 and uh, the thing that probably sets this gun apart from any other poppets on the market at the moment. And certainly, as far as Ego goes, it's um, what's allowed us to get this gun shooting completely different to any other Ego that we've made before. Um, that, of course, is the, the adjustable solenoid that's inside. Um, the solenoid's been in development for um, coming on for two years now, um, we've been working with uh, Max Solenoids in the USA who've uh, again developed a, a bespoke um, solenoid uh, for us. has built-in uh, dual flow controls for the exhaust pass. Um, as you see when we take it apart in a minute, there's uh, a simple quarter turn dial, has pointers on the dial, um, is incremented from uh, 0 to 10, has plus and minus to help you work out which way to go to make the gun faster or, or the cycle faster and slower. Uh, the dual controls allow both the forward stroke uh, and the rearward stroke to be tuned to your liking. The forward stroke will allow you to adjust the velocity um, and efficiency and consistency. The rearward stroke purely controls the rate of fire and the feel of the gun. So what I'm going to do is uh, quickly pull this gun apart and let you see what the solenoid looks like inside. First of all, I'll just show you how easy it is to access the adjustments. You don't need to take the frame apart, all you need to do is open up the grips because the um, adjustment of the solenoid will allow you to adjust velocity. It's uh, important that it was locked away inside the grips. So here we go inside, open up the grips. So just as you need to go to the tourney lock to make your gun le tournament legal or not, you need to open up the grips to get inside uh, and have a look at the solenoid adjustment. With the frame on, you can see inside here we have two adjusters. Rear one here controls the rear stroke, forward one here controls the forward stroke. What I'm going to do is pull the frame off so you can see it a bit more clearly, you can see the whole solenoid on its own. Um, so let's go ahead and disconnect the hoses. Take out the solenoid wire and the eye wire. Take out the rear frame screw. Take out the front frame screw. frame to one side, also just to make it easier to wheel around. That's that one as well. Okay, so there you have the new solenoid. Um, there are those two adjusters. You can see on there, both the adjusters, you have incremental scale, little arrow on each of the adjusters, uh, plus and a minus on each so you can see that turning it to minus actually reduces the flow and reduces the speed. Turning it to plus increases the flow uh, and increases the speed. So on the on the forward one, uh, if you increase uh, the flow on the forward one, it allow the bolt to come forward faster and strike the poppet valve faster. As you decrease that, the speed that the bolt and the rammer comes forward uh, reduces and it will. Uh, in time reduce the velocity. Rear one controls uh, the speed that the bolt comes backwards, so how fast the rammer returns. Um, it throttles the air coming out of the solenoid um, and as it throttles that it allows the, the, the bolt to move more slowly into the rear position and come up to rest more slowly against the rear stop. Obviously Taking that to a full open plus setting will give you maximum rate of fire, which is still 20 plus uh, BPS. Taking it into the minus position will take it to its absolute slowest, um, and that will uh, that will take the rate of fire, depending on the dwell, down to about 8 to 10 BPS. Um, and so you can really slow the gun right down to the absolute minimum requirement for a uh, for what's needed for most of the tournaments that are out there now. Um, you can also see on the bottom of the body 
new manifold. It's a, a resin manifold, same as in the E-Tech. Um, mounts, solenoid mounts directly onto the manifold, manifold mounts directly onto the body. Very simple, very reliable and ro robust. It is filtered on the inlet so um, any debris coming through uh, will be well filtered there. So that's about it for now. Um, what I'm going to do now is going to put this gun back together, take it to the firing range and uh, just shoot it over the firing range for you and let you see how those adjustments will affect both the velocity and the um, rate of fire. So, see you in a minute at the range.